Hey guys, well as promised we're going to talk a little bit about F1 Newsmax and uh, there's been a few things this week. Mm. Um, we did a video recently about the F1 engines and of course now the teams have, there's been furor as, as we expected. Yeah, there's been furor on that front and uh, Toyota in particular have said, you know, quite plainly, uh, as, as they all would I expect, you know, you do this and we're not going to be in Formula 1 anymore. Why would you bother? Why well, would yeah, you bother if it. you're an engine manufacturer? Uh, why would you bother being in Formula One anymore if your uh, your engine uh, can't be used? <laughs> if your engine comes from Fiat, yeah, yeah. it's a it's a no brainer. Um, you know, I, uh, the the thing that Pep and I've been really pleased with is uh, a lot of you your guys' comments on uh, on the channel. Um, yeah. you, you're pretty much uh, thinking the same thing we are, but that's not why I'm enjoying your comments. Common sense has to prevail. Uh, if you're going to piss off all these manufacturers out there by saying, well, you know, one of the things we're looking at is uh, it's a standard engine, a third-party engine, yeah, um, you'd be pretty pissed. And I don't blame them, and you don't blame them, and a lot of you guys don't blame them either. This is ludicrous. There's yeah. other ways to save money. There is, and now they've sort of commissioned a meeting to sort of come up with um, cost-saving ideas, and it goes back to what I said before, the FAA and Max Mosley will just, you know, announce something absolutely outrageous and now of course what they're doing is sitting down and talking about it. What they should have done at the start, Max, is just said we need to talk about this, you need to come to the table and talk about it and uh, not yeah. just bring up something stupid like a standard engine in Formula 1, which every single one of you has said is ridiculous and I haven't yeah. read anyone anywhere to say, on any website, Max, to say that this is a good thing. So, what you yeah. say is right, mate. Um, sit down, talk about it, come up with a com compromise, uh, but don't stand off the engines. Yeah, engines is the one thing you don't do. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I wrote in a comment to uh, Tony, you guys, the other day, the thing that I find astonishing is that, uh, you know, Mosley and, uh, and Bernie are looking at uh, pissing off the people the very people that uh, make them, you know, millions and millions of dollars, and that is the engine manufacturers and the fans. Mm. Uh, I, from what I've read from you guys, and uh, and Pep and I certainly have this same opinion as well. Uh, we don't want a uh, a dumbed down version of Formula One. We don't want standard engines or anything like that. We don't want a spec series. I've I've gone on about that in the last uh, last know. podcast. Um, you know, listen to your fans. Why would you piss off the Why would you do that? manufacturers yeah. and your fans? Exactly. It stuns me. Max, let's talk about Heike Kovalainen. and he's been in the news this week. He's a little bit upset. Uh, he feels like he's he's playing number two to Lewis. That's surprise, because he... surprise. His fuel loads aren't yeah. uh, competitive. Uh, he's not being given what he feels is mm. uh, to take the challenge to Lewis. And uh, mate, I'm not surprised at all. Heike's getting a little bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, frustrated. Also, he needs a bit of speed, mate. Um, he needs to be right there on Lewis's bum to complain about uh, uh, the setups. Yeah, well, think. apparently his uh, his position is well. You're not giving the, me the car to allow me to uh, to be on Lewis's gearbox because I'm usually heavier than uh, Lewis. Uh, my tyres are different to Lewis's, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, look, I'd be pissed off as well. But the simple fact of the matter remains is that. This is all about Lewis this year, and uh, Hakey, you've got to toe the line, Tiger. Yeah. And if you think next year is going to be any different, then <laughs> you're whistling Dixie, mate, because uh, it's going to be exactly the same next year. Could have put it better myself, Max. <laughs> you know, well, welcome to McLaren, welcome to the top team or one of the top teams in Formula One, Tiger. But there, there does, does come costs uh, yeah. with landing that seat. Yeah. And your cost is you will support Lewis. And people have bitched about being a Ferrari number two driver for near on a decade, and now you know a McLaren number two driver, if you want to call it that, yeah. one and two. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. there's, there's there's no ones or twos in no. uh, in Formula One. No. no, 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 no. Uncle Ron sends his Christmas cards out at exactly the same day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hakey gets his at the same time as Lewis. Oh, there's no yeah. question about that. Yep, yep. And they get the same present too. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. But look, Hakey's got to suck it up, mate. Uh, he has, at the end yeah. of the day, you know. And del- like I said, deliver some speed. You, you need to be very close. And unfortunately, Hakey's been, you know, P7, P6, P8 sometimes. I mean, I, know, d- I don't envy the kid, though, right? Because it reminds me of the David Coulthard, Mika Hakkinen days. Mm-hmm. Right, we we keep getting, uh, you know, we were always told that both drivers had the same machinery and the same cars and all this sort of thing, and we're like, all oh, right, okay. So that must mean Mick is just just that little bit better than David. <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, but we all know that uh, you know Mick was the uh, golden child and David wasn't. All right, Max, have a slurp of beer while I uh, <coughs> move on to the next subject. You're right, though. Um, David and, and Nika was exactly the same <coughs> situation, and Nika was more aggressive. But anyway, anyway. Uh, let's move on to driver news with Alonso saying that he's going to make his decision uh, just after the breath healed, Max. Who'd have thought? In yeah. the season, he's going to make his yeah. decision. The check and play will go, and then the press conference will go out, uh, press release will go out, and... Um, yeah, you know, we've we've spoken a lot about Alonso, and, and obviously he's a pretty pivotal. Just driver. make a decision. Just tell us, for God's sake, put us out of our mercy. Can, can you just say it's Renault and it's be Renault. done with it? Yeah. yeah, you've you've got a car that's run one, two races this year, and one of them was on genuine pace. So, yeah. you know, I think you know the banter out there is that's going to be Renault, and uh, Look, I can't sti- say anything. I'm going to stick my neck out. Uh, Fernando's going to be driving for Renault next year. You heard it here first. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm sick to death of hearing all these other teams, you know, your Hondas and your Toyotas. Oh, you know, we're yeah, still Red reviewing Bull, this, yeah. that and the other thing. Yeah, really? Um, a Toro Rosso was another one. Sorry, not Red Bull, Toro Rosso. <sighs> Alright, he's staying at Renault, alright? As I said, you heard it here first. Christ, let's be done with it. Move on. <laughs> alright guys, well the Brazilian Grand Prix is coming very soon and uh, we'll do another video obviously before that with our tips and all sorts of things, Max. You know it. Anything else happens between now and then. Oh, you got it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye.